Hi, my name is Mai Cheng. I'm the Chief Engineer at Harrison. In this session, I, I'm going to try to answer some of additional questions that you may have while you're using the, the ShotMaker insert. Could the ShotMaker insert come loose inside the golf shaft? Yeah, absolutely, it could. Okay, uh, It could come loose for two reasons. Reason number one is if it was not tightened properly, the screw, what I meant is this screw was not tightened properly, uh, you could come loose, absolutely. Now, our recommendation is when you tighten the insert, turn the insert tool, the, the torque wrench, turn it slowly, and then it click three times, slowly. Don't do it too fast, because the torquing force of this, this torque wrench is, is minuscule, very, very light. It is possible when you click the first click, the mechanism is not operating at full force yet. So we feel that if you let it torque it slowly and then it click three times, we're pretty confident that it has reached the full force to lock the screw in. The second scenario under which that it doesn't lock, it somehow you can't lose. That means the difference between the diameter of this insert and the inside diameter of the golf shell is too great, okay? And uh, so it's, in essence, this insert is not compatible to the golf shell that is, this is intended for. In that case, yeah, you could come loose. Now, that said, in the past many years of r and effort, and uh, that we have tested the insert, we actually, uh, engage the machine and the robot to hit this and try to find out whether it would come loose by itself. Uh, that has, it, it has never happened before. However, would consumer in real life use could that happen? Yes, it could happen. And the two things you could do, number one, if it comes loose because the screw is loose, just take it back to the store, have the, have the store owner tighten it for you. If it's not compatible, then, then, then you have to wait for the next model. Is the insert intended for wood or irons? The, uh, the, the, the 83 model is intended for wood at the present time. It, it will not fit the, the iron shaft. Do I need to clean the inside of the golf shaft? Uh, no. Inside the golf shaft is kind of dirty, as you know. I mean, it has some graphite dust in it. Uh, those graphite dust actually work as a wonderful lubricant. And we love to keep them there, okay? It allows the golf shaft the golf shaft to move freely around the insert so better. How should I clean the insert? It will come in pretty clean and uh, unless it's getting dirty, I would just say with a dish cloth, soapy dish cloth, wipe it clean, as simple as that. Could I use uh, acetone? Absolutely not. Acetone, which is, uh, you would just destroy the paint, you will get, it, it will melt this uh, plastic ex uh, expansion lock. And what happens if the insert tool is too short? The insert tool combined with the insert will give you the insert depth of 42 and 3 quarter inches. Okay? Now, the legal limit for uh, USGA and a uh, uh, long drive in America is roughly around 48 inches long in terms of the shaft length, the cut shaft length, uh, as a limit, a legal limit. So 42 and 3 quarter, that will mean uh, this insert with the tool could go all the way down to around six inch near the tip section of, of, of the shaft. It is our intention that we don't want the insert to intrude within the first six inches of the golf shaft. And there's a reason for that. If the insert goes within six inches or less than six inches, it will change the plain, the plain characteristic of the shaft. Okay, you're gonna feel a difference now. By staying away, and in fact, you know, if, you, if this shaft is to be fitting to the Harrison shaft, you'll probably come to near eight inches. It won't even come close to that. If you have the insert go into like, you know, less than eight inches into the six to eight inches zone, you're gonna start feeling it. You're gonna feel that, oh, um, uh, much stiffer, uh, launch the ball slower, uh, launch the ball lower, and so forth. Some, some, of you, some of you may actually like that, may see that result. If that is your see, 
then that's, that's great, okay? It will do that for you. But if you like to retain a similar plain characteristic of your existing shaft, the easiest way to find out is an insert tool you feel is too short. It doesn't get to that. If the insert tool is too short, this insert is not compatible to the Gauss shaft. Okay, so it was you by no accident. If it doesn't, if the insert tool doesn't get there, it is our intention it doesn't get there. And lastly, what will happen if the external dimension of the insert is much smaller than the internal dimension of the golf shaft? Then uh, it will be less effective. Okay, meaning this uh, the best section of the internal diameter of the golf shaft is bigger and this is smaller. The most effective is when the dimension of the insert, external dimension of the insert, meets perfectly with the with the internal dimension of a golf shaft. If they meet perfectly, this this insert will be highly effective. The the greater the difference, okay, uh, the less effective it will be. It will still be effective, but less, okay. And if the dimension difference is big, you know, around where the locking point is. Then you run a risk that you could come loose. All right. Now, if you are worrying about this coming loose, um, marginally compatible golf shaft, we suggest that you could use Elmer's repositionable screw glue stick. All right. Put it on the thread. It's a white-looking repositionable glue stick. Put it right here on the thread. Let it dry for 60 seconds before we put it back in. All that we need is a tacky agent, okay? Because if the difference is big, then you don't have a whole locking point. It's a tiny little bit. More likely, the screw will come loose, okay? All we need here is a bit of a tacky agent. And what we have found out from our, from our, 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 our test is that repositional glue stick worked pretty well. Now, don't use a regular glue stick. Regular glue stick provide instant bonding, okay? And, and you're gonna try to bond this together, which is not objective here. Repositionable glue stick, reposition means you could take it off, okay? So the question is, people may say, why couldn't I just use the Loctite uh, uh, thread locker blue? You know, well, not a permanent lock. Oh, we try that. The, the thread locker is a solvent-based product. On contact with the black plastic, within an hour, this expansion lock will completely break apart. It literally broke apart, okay? So don't try it. Where it did that, it didn't work. Thank you. That will be the end of the session.